Hi everyone, Mike Paradise here with Automotive Process Champions, and we're going to bring you the next in our series of What's Important Now Win Videos here at our home offices. I'm here with my good friend and business partner, John Rayhorst, and what we want to talk about this week is a little tip on internet sales process. You know, we've been involved with internet sales process since the early 90s, installing dealerships at the, uh, in stores at dealerships, internet departments at dealerships rather, and helping them come up with the best process. And what we've been very successful at doing is installing processes that have been able to get dealerships between 18 and 20% conversion ratios. And I'm gonna give you one little tip, one little step that we've been using over the years. You know, one of the things that we've seen over the years is that uh, as much as people say that the internet is different and things have changed, there's a couple of things that have remained the same. One of the things that's remained the same is, is response time. In other words, the fastest person to respond to an internet lead is the one that's likely going to get the business. Another thing that has been constant throughout the internet process over the years is that the, the customers will typically ask you for a, a quote on a specific vehicle and the vast majority of the customers end up buying something completely different than what they asked for a quote on. Uh, well over three quarters of, uh, of the people that send a request for quote buy something different. So my point there is why are we getting into this, uh, this uh, arm wrestling competition with our, our competitor down the street or our internet competition over the lowest price? Why are we giving away the store when they're not going to buy that car anyhow? So what we've helped to, to, uh, to do at dealerships is install a process or a step in the process where one of the uh, early emails that gets sent to the customer is a response email with a three price price quote. And let me explain how that works. The first uh, vehicle in the three price price quote is going to be the vehicle that most closely represents the vehicle that they're interested in. The second vehicle is going to be the first step that you would do if you were on the lot and the customer thought the vehicle was too highly priced you would take them to a vehicle that was the next level down, approximately 10 to 15% less expensive. And then the third vehicle is going to be a pre-owned or pre-loved vehicle that would be the next switch car if you were on a lot that you would take that customer to. So if they ask you for this vehicle, give them the price on that, sim that vehicle, give them a price on the, uh, the LX, the next step down, and then give them the price on the uh, pre-owned certified vehicle that's substantially less expensive. Send that to them and tell them that you've got a lot of different opportunities besides these vehicles. What we need to do is make sure that we've provided the information that you're interested in. Therefore, what I'm going to do is give you a call back right away and I'm going to check to see if we've, if we've provided you the right information. A three price price quote, give the vehicle that most closely represents what they're looking for, give them a vehicle that's 10 to 15% less expensive, and then give them a pre-owned vehicle, perhaps a certified vehicle that's substantially less expensive. Now before I let you go, I want to give you an example just so that you can have an image in your head. Imagine that your brother or sister is coming into the dealership today and they're going to look at a vehicle and they've told you ahead of time what they're interested in and you set an appointment for them to come into the store. They come into the dealership, what do you as a professional salesperson do? You take them to the vehicle that most closely represents what they're looking for. Now imagine that you're taking them around doing a product presentation and you come to the window sticker and they take a look at the window sticker and they go, oh my goodness, Mike, that's way more than we want to spend. What would be your next step? Well, as a professional salesperson and as the brother of this person, what you would probably do is say, hey, you know what? I've got an idea, follow me. And you would take them to the next vehicle, the next step down, 10 to 15% less expensive and show them that vehicle. Now, in this example, if they said that that vehicle is still too much money, too expensive, that's a too much, as they say, right? It, what would a good professional, a solid salesperson do? they'd probably say, hey, you know what? I just thought about something. We just took a vehicle into the uh, in trade. It's a, uh, a wonderful vehicle. It's got a story behind it. Let me show, you to, uh, show it to you. And you take them over to the pre-owned lot and you would show them the certified vehicle or the other type of vehicle that you have in the back of your mind that perfectly fits what they're looking for. The vehicle that fits what they want, the one that's about 10 to 15% uh, less expensive as the first step down and the pre-owned, pre-loved vehicle that's substantially less expensive and that's exactly what you want to do with your price quote. Hey, if you want us, us to show you how this works and uh, in fact uh, share with you a couple of examples of templates that we use for price quotes, give us a call 
John and I are going to be available at these telephone numbers. I hope you have a great day and get out there and sell something.